This is a painting by Emily Carr called Sitka Totem Pole from 1912. And it's notable for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's one of the very, very few canvases of that format in her career. Secondly, it's a, it's a subject she revisited uh, in 1912 because she'd first seen it in 1907, which is clearly seen in her Alaska diary, which records a trip she and her sister made in 1907. It's interesting, it's an early example of her signing the painting M. Emily Carr, when in fact she only ever had two names, Emily Carr. M was just, she just made up. The challenge that Carr had with painting these poles is she wanted to document the poles. And so there's this interesting tension between the documentation aspect and making it an artistic statement. And that tension is really fascinating in this particular canvas. For example, the foliage of the tree kind of embracing the totem pole is, is really remarkable. And, and by reference is the pole comes from the forest, it gets, it, it, it's part of the forest. And of course, there's a rather striking mountain because there are not that many mountains in Emily Carr's paintings. This use of color reflects her training in France during the year 1911, where she brings kind of post-impressionist color into the Canadian landscape.